Welcome to Best Buds Gardening. Today, let's talk about growing asparagus from seed to harvest. Asparagus is pretty expensive at the store, but for about $1.98, you can have an unlimited supply of asparagus for the next 20 years. But it takes three to four years to grow, so you have to be a little bit patient. First thing we want to do is soak our asparagus seeds. They're pretty tough. Soak these overnight. After we've soaked our seeds, I'm going to take a paper towel and I want it pretty damp. I'm going to take my soaked asparagus seeds and I'm going to place them on the damp paper towel. Then I'm going to fold my paper towel up, make sure all of those seeds are getting good contact with the damp paper towel. Not wringing wet, just damp. Put it in a plastic baggie so that it doesn't dry out. And asparagus needs to germinate in a warm spot, 80 to 90 degrees. So I'm probably going to keep my baggie on top of the TV for a few days. After about five days, we'll check our seeds again. And we can see a little white root growing out of some of them. That means they've begun to germinate. So I'm going to take my garden sharpie and some pre-moistened compost and I'm going to poke a little hole about a quarter of an inch down in my little plastic tray here. And I'm going to take some of these germinated seeds and I'm just going to drop them into the hole. It doesn't matter how they land, the root will find its way down and the top of the plant will find its way up. So I'm just going to take six of these germinated seeds, drop them in there, Sometimes they'll stick to your fingers a little bit. It's hard to see if you got them in the hole or not. Life always finds a way. Just do the best you can. And then we're going to cover these up so that they're covered with about a quarter of an inch of soil. Then I'm going to give them a nice drink and wait for them to hatch. A few days later, our asparagus seedlings are coming up out of the soil. Go ahead if it's over 60 degrees and take them outside, put them in the sun so you don't have to harden them off. After about three weeks of them growing in the little pots, it's time for us to transplant our asparagus seedlings into their permanent home. They're going to want full sun. And I only have enough room for about six plants in this bed because asparagus will spread itself out over the years. You just want to bury them as deep as they originally were and pat them down in there just so they're snug. So here's all our little asparagus seedlings. You just let them hang out, enjoy the summer, and keep them watered. After a couple of months, your asparagus will open up into these huge ferns. And again, just let them enjoy the summer, keep them watered. After the first frost hits, your asparagus will look like this. Now I've put some bunny rabbit protection over mine and the asparagus ferns grew right up through it. So what we're gonna do after they turn brown is we're going to snip them off. I'm going to snip them off down to my bunny rabbit protection so that I can easily remove that. And then you just wanna cut these off as close to ground level as possible. And that is the end of year one. So after you have this done, go inside, have some hot cocoa, and just forget about your asparagus until next spring. The next spring, your little asparagus seedlings will come up out of the soil very early in the spring. Um, in fact, you might have to watch for some frost. Frost will kill your plants off. So if you're going to have frost, get them covered up with a trash barrel or whatever you've got handy. But year two, you just let the ferns open up. You can't eat this stuff yet. You just wait. Just do what you did year one. Let them hang out and enjoy the summer and soak up all that energy. Keep them well watered though. Your ferns will get very tall and you might have to run some chicken wire around them or something. You, you don't want them to flop over and lay on the ground. You want to keep them upright and out of your way uh, so you can mow around them or whatever. 
Another thing you'll notice on your two, you might even notice it on your one, is that your plants will start to show signs of being female and male. These are the males. They have little flower-like things on them. And these are the females. They grow bright red berries. Those berries will drop off, land on the ground, and grow even more asparagus ferns for next year. Then the frost will come, they will turn brown again, and die off again, and you do exactly the same thing you did last year. You just snip them down as close to ground level as possible, go back inside, enjoy your cocoa again, and wait until next spring. That's the really exciting spring. Very early, the third spring, we start to see what actually looks like asparagus starting to come up. Some of this stuff we can eat. If the asparagus stalk is smaller in diameter than a pencil, you have to leave it and let it grow. But the stuff that's bigger around than a pencil, we can harvest. So we have to leave quite a bit of our asparagus to grow on year three because it's smaller than a pencil. But look at this guy. We can harvest him. We can harvest him when he gets a little bigger. We can harvest him. We can harvest this guy. So you can do a light harvest your third year and start enjoying some asparagus. But you've got to leave a clump. See, these were the plants that we planted originally. You've got to leave one or two shoots from each clump growing the third year. But the bigger ones, we can eat. On year four, you can harvest all of it. Happy asparagus growing. Thank you for watching and hit the red subscribe button below the video to be able to see more gardening videos.